so I come and good morning you continue to use the photo studio but you need to go to e-learning under the photo studio folder click the study tag and name that get part now show in folder I have these two folder in Katia assembly in Katia let's open assembly design insert the lens Open. Okay. So next we go to Photo Studio. It is in unknown the infrastructure and Photo Studio. So under at the bottom of the, the tools list, we have a price sticker. Click and you can select the image that you want to use. So we select the start that we have downloaded just now. Click open. So you click here, select object to stick on. Let's put it here. Then you can click surfaces that we want to the sticker to put in. Okay, so that's the sticker. We need to arrange it. Let's size. Okay, and then the orientations. And then flip. Okay, so you, you need to move the sticker using this knob. So I now move it horizontally. Well, this one is vertically. Click OK. So if you have your stickers or your group uh, name or even a warning uh, or warning stickers you can do it like this so as we are now in photo studio these are the work bench for photo studios and the tools so for now we will use the photo studio easy tools click here so as you can see, our product is will have a background image. We can change the background image. So let's say I want to change it to default this. So we click that. Let me show. Or even can use start number two. Okay, and then click custom. You can see that it provides us with a uh, lights that will highlight our product so we can increase this for transparencies and reflectivity click ok and next it's about rendering options so we click high click ok so this is the define render area we will use the whole area and before we click render go to view and then look at render style we click perspective so perspective and parallel is different usually we use parallel to design while if we do rendering we we'll use perspective and we arrange this so that it is suitable with the background and then click render so it takes some time to complete so for now as it will take uh, here it's around 18 minutes so I will pause this video and we show you the results okay so it is now almost complete so you can save the file So 
between f jpeg and jf is like select jpeg and see and it looks like we just stop so this is the rendering that have been made so it will show better if you have materials in which you can see this is the reflectivity that uh, resulting from our uh, setup just now and you can see the stickers is set okay so that's, a, that's all about photo studio that's an easy to use and easy tools if you want to go to the photo studio workbench tools you can follow this uh, blocks that is katyarender.blogspot.com it is in russian so we the, so we can uh, translate in english using google translate this is the best step by steps it needs time to do it from this into this result and this okay I have done mine and yeah it's work so you guys can follow because it shows step by step on how uh, to render this type of uh, rendering so from this result you can create your posters and make sure that uh, the products look realistic and you may have a good foster if you your product looks uh, almost real although it is in simulations and katya that's all for photo studios thank you very much